Okay. Okay, do we make it in? He and I? Uh, yeah. You go down the stairway, and there's another door, and you open it up, and there are two more guards. What are you doing? I'm going to stand next to my cart, to my owner's cart. Alright, well, you know the way? Yes. Hey, there's a big green cage just over that way. Don't go near it. Affirmative. Crap, I forgot about the guards inside. All right. So, presuming you go directly over to the green cage thing. Well, are they watching? Uh, well, yeah. That's a good point. I'm, I'm gonna go stand next to the cart. Okay. Do they have lights, or...? Um... Yeah, they've got flashlights. Okay. So it is doable for, for Jamag to sneak over there. I mean, so. if she can turn... If she can use your cloak, then yeah. Well, she's been using the cloak, I'm assuming. Yeah. But, by the way, it had an 11 minute duration. Okay. Yeah, if there are guards inside. Can't talk to them with guards. See, there's gotta be. How far away is our cart from the cage? Um, they're kind of on opposite sides. Okay. Okay, come on. Let's see. Let's see what I got for cam trips. None of my cantrips will help me get them out of here. The only thing I can think to do is... Well, how many minutes have passed? About how many minutes have passed? Uh, it probably took you two or three minutes to get down here. Okay. Uh, God damn it, there's nothing I can do. There's no I don't I can't think of anything to get these guys gone from this area. Are are, are the guards looking in our, in our direction with flashlights or are they just kind of stand there kibitzing? Uh they're mostly just talking to one another. Yeah, so they're not actively looking in the dark room. You you can stealth in the dark. I will start making a very slow way towards the cage. Roll a stealth. Do I have to? Yep. Just remember, because you're invisible, it's at a plus 20, so... Oh, 
46, yo. Look at that. Perception for me to watch the guards. <laughs> Way to take a one. Yeah. I mean, you can definitely see those flashlights. Yep. <laughs> I mean, that's still a fucking 23, though. Uh, that being said, Chrissy, you make it. I'm presuming you're heading over towards the thing? Mm-hmm. You make it to the thing. Right, I will cast the tongue's spell. Fuck, you're not just casting it on you, so you already have oh, it. Oh, right, yeah. How far away are the guards from me? Uh, 100 so feet. Okay. I'll whisper, hello, Koopo? Mind you, I'm keeping the respectful 10 feet that I promised um, Somon, but... You can't really see into the cage, can you? I have I have low light vision. You can't really see into the cage. It's too risky to use any light. Not that I even have any light. Can you give me some sign you're there? I had a character spell, it's still knocked out cold. Oh. I could you cast, a cast a healing <laughs> I could, but doesn't that create like a soft red glow? That doesn't say it does. What spell are you talking about? Um. Well, I have cure. I have regen. A soft white glow, but and you'd also need to see the target to cast it on them. Yeah, which is why she goes like your AOE heal. Oh, <laughs> Soman. Hmm. Let me get to the spell, and I'll read it. And I'll read it to you real quick. Right, that's a fourth level spell, not a fifth level. A soft white glow envelops the area. That is a 20 foot radius that'll glow white. And in this dark black, um... Yeah, but you're still invisible, so you cast it and run away and hide behind a crate. They'll come over and investigate, can't find you, and then they'll go away. Either that or, or the beast will wake up and they, they'll come over to investigate and the beast will get out again and kill them. You can cast it from a long ways away. Yeah. You do know that, right? I am aware. Hang on, before I do anything... Well, detect magic also makes it glow, doesn't it? They make your eyes glow. But you're invisible, so... Yeah. And plus, if I even just turn my back to them and... Is the cage... Does the cage glow at all? Is it enchanted? Um... Round one. Yes. 
round two, you pick up three magics. Okay. And round three, spellcrafts. By the way, when this um, cape runs out, am I able to hit the button again, or is there a cool-off time on it? There's a cool-down time on it. Which is? I don't think someone told you. Okay. First spellcraft, I presume, is on the cage. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, the cage has a heightened silence effect on it. The second spellcraft will be for that. That is a plus... Uh, that is a plus four, um, plus four combat glove. Okay. And... Where is that coming from? Inside the cage. Does that mean I can locate where he's at? You can see kind of where he's at. I mean, assuming he's the one wearing these. And the next one, that is a plus three armor of some kind. I'll get back to you on that. (laughs) So because you can see the magical aura around the armor and the glove, Are they moving around at all? Nope. Are they on the ground, or are they kind of off the ground? They're on the ground. So he's probably laying on the ground. Alright, I'm gonna get far enough... Let's see, I'm gonna... He's got some bitchin' gear. That, uh... That probably leans towards saying he's a bit of a sentient creature, because... Monsters don't exactly walk around with right, plus I'm gonna, four weapons and plus three armor. I'm gonna move back towards the cart. Oh wait, how many feet away is the cart from the crate? Uh... Like I said, it's on the other side, so I'd say uh, 120, 130 feet. Okay, I'll kind of move... Oh, God. Yeah, someone's plan was the best. Okay, I'll find a Creighton, nearby Creighton, hide behind it. What what was that? Someone's plan is the best? So far, you know, just cast a Cure Spell and hide. Huh. I know. Never thought you'd hear me say that, huh? All right, cast a cure spell. This is gonna end badly. Uh, I would like to point it out that you do know that casting a spell or anything like that ends invisibility effects. Which is why I'm behind a crate. Good job. It does, though. Uh, I don't... Oh my god, I do not like this. Yeah, it, it will in your invisibility. And I don't have a um, silent message either. And if you haven't taken off the silence spell that's on the cage, it's probably a good thing to assume that you won't be able to communicate with him. 
of course, these are things that your character knows, being a caster. Well, yeah, that means I can't hear him. Doesn't mean he can't hear me. The spell ends if the subject attacks any creature for the purpose of the spell, and attack includes any spell targeting a foe or whose area of effect includes a foe. Exactly who is a foe depends on the invisible creature's perceptions. Actions directed at unintended objects do not break the spell. What? So you should be able to maintain your invisibility, I think, if you cast Cure. Well, I don't cure my foes. Yeah. I mean, when you I do, define them not as a foe, and then you'll be able to stay invisible. Well, I'm doing this in hopes of making a friend. Because, you know, sentient creatures should not be in a cage. That's taking away all freedom that they have. Right? That's why I wanted to fucking talk to it. Yeah, perfect. Spells such as Bless that specifically affect allies but not foes are not attacks for this purpose, even when they are include foes in their area. Cool. Um, so... Yeah. I like it when things go into those kind of specifics. It makes things helpful. So... You are going to... Let's see here. You need to see the target in order to cast that. I saw the... Um, the glove. I can target that. So you're going to give the glove regeneration. I thought you were using the AoE sort of thing. Yeah, your AoE heal is also your best bet. With the amount of light it gives off. Yeah, but it gives off light at the area that you cast it on, not on you. True. Okay, still hiding behind a crate. Okay, glowy things. Guards, go to investigate. Soman, you notice the lights are moving. Yep, I, yep. I probably see the glow by the cage and want to see the guards wander over there. Yep. I'm going to wander over there too. The guards will hear you and mm -hmm. turn around and be like, Hey, what are you doing? Investigating the glow. Did you see it? Yeah, we saw it. Did you see the green cage? Yes. We told you not to go near it. The fine near. <laughs> hey, he has a bit of a fucking point. <laughs> fucking robots. Fucking robots. <laughs> Look, okay. <laughs> 60 feet. Eh, don't go within 60 feet of the thing. Understood. David, am I currently within 60 feet of the cage? No. <laughs> okay. I, I will go to the 60 foot line and look around for the light. <laughs> and one of them, like the moment you start moving again, will turn around and watch you. And when you stop... Does he measure exactly 60 <laughs> feet? He'll turn around and go to investigate the area. Every now and again, he'll look back at you. <laughs> I do not go closer than 60 feet. As <laughs> that being said, I have my flashlight on and I'm looking in that direction. Is the creature awake? Looks like it. Cool. 
Uh, did you do that, you fucking weirdy? Uh, God will be glad when this thing is over. What are you talking about? I'm going to drop these guys off. I'm going to pick up a group exactly like these guys. I mean, hopefully not exactly like these guys. We don't need any more of these fucking things. <laughs> How much is the captain charge? How much is the captain charging to keep this thing on the ship? Not enough. And then you will hear something hit the uh, cage. And it will fucking hit the cage. Like the whole cage almost moves a couple inches, I'm assuming? Uh... Edmantine's really fucking heavy, and that's a big cage, but there is a very loud, like, smash. But, but, it has a silence spell on it. Cage doesn't have a silence on it. The silence spell works for whatever is inside the cage. Oh, well, once the guards look like they're starting to get bored, I'm going to head back to my cart. Are they near the, the crate still, David? Uh, they, after, after a while of talking some shit on the thing, they basically walk back to their spot. <clears throat> How long has this been? Uh, probably another two, three minutes. Okay, so that's six. I will come out from behind the crate. Well, still kind of behind it. Close, as close as I can get while maintaining uh, ten feet while still hiding from the guards. How I'm going to get out of this, I don't know. So, anyway. you're at the thing. <clears throat> okay. Can you hear me, Koopa? BAM! I will wait and listen to see if the guards are doing anything. Please don't, I'm here uh, to help. Oh wait, hmm? What? Uh, no, continue, you're fine. Please don't. I'm here to help, Kupo. Tap once for yes, tap twice for no. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> Shut the fuck up, you <laughs> dumb beast. I really hope these, claw these guards get the shit clawed out of them. <laughs> I will huff annoyed. If anyone's the beast's them. Look, we're not with the people who captured you, I promise, Kapo. My friends told me you had a home, Kapo. What if we found a way to get you back there, Kapo? He said his name was what? Um... Wargram. Wargram. Wargram, Kapo? Are you there? There's a silent spell on the cage, monster. Jamog. Can you tap the cage if you can understand me, Kapo?
Tap the cage once if you can understand me, Kupal. Not tapping, Kupo. You're gonna bring him back over here, Kupo. I need you to tap the cage, Kupo. Can you do that? It was Wargrim, right? Well. Wargrim? Come on, Wargrim. I don't have a lot of time, Kapo. I want to help you, Kapo, but I can't do that if you're just going to attack everything, Kapo. Cloak wears off. Would I feel it or know it at all? I mean, you can see yourself now, so... And now he is staring at you. Yeah, but I don't think he has dark vision to see him. I will just shed the cloak and back up a little bit so that my pom pom is without is out of reach. Do I see him at all? Oh, uh, you can see his eyes. I can see your eyes. Can you nod for me, Kapo? You, you see them blink for a second and then... BAM! Wargrim, that is not helping, Kapo. Stop it, please. I'm trying to help you. Ah, oh, Kapo Po. What are the guards doing in all this? Nothing, apparently. They're over there. You can hear them talking. They I mean, can't really make out what they're saying, but... Okay. <sighs> Wargrim, I can't help you if you don't help me, Kupo. Now, can you nod, Kupo? Are you even understanding me? Am I in the right tongue, Kupo? Do you have to spell tongues? Care not cast it on me, it'll last five hours. You would... She made the spellcraft DC for... The silence effect, right? Yeah. Yeah, she knows her silence on that cage. Okay. Chrissy, you would know that there is a silence effect on this cage. Therefore, you cannot hear anything that happens inside that cage. No, but I can see his eyes. I can hear him slam himself against the cage. Yeah, but if you're trying to actually communicate with him... That's why I'm asking him if he can, like, nod or, like, tap the cage? Don't worry, Cr Cr Chrissy's got this. What? Cr Chrissy, you got this. Um, 
Uh-huh. Probably. That being said, despite how much Chrissy's got this, I have to go. Okay. I have to be up early tomorrow morning because I have to go to McAllister, Oklahoma for the burial service. Oh, yikes. Good luck. Yeah, I'll be fine. It's just Don't a worry. I am. Fucking four and a half hour car trip I'm not looking forward to. One way or two ways? Well, I'm. Two, s- both ways. Okay. Sorry, uh, one way. It's four and a half hours, one way. Wow. Yeah. Eight hours. Nine hours in a car tomorrow. That sucks, man. Yeah, that sucks a shit ton. <laughs> Well, Not really luck, anything yeah. sense, Prissy. Good luck, man. Later. Right, I'll talk to you guys later. Good luck. Bye. Bye. Okay. I look back at the creature and say, Okay. Are you Wargrim Kapo? I'm watching his eyes. He moves up to the cage. And... A, uh... I guess a finger will stick out through one of the holes and wrap once on the door. Or on the outside of the cage. I'll smile. Good. I am Demog Kupo. Do you wish. Do you miss your home, Kupo? Rap. Rap. I want... You do understand, I am not with the people who put you in this thing. Do you understand, Kupo? Rap. Rap. Okay. We're going to use two raps for understand and three for a no. Okay, Kupo? Rap, rap, rap. (laughs) 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 He's not very cooperative. So then you don't want to go home, Kubo? Rap, rap, rap. Hmm. Let's see, Kapapo. I... I am sorry for my friends knocking you out earlier, Kapo. But it was far better than what the guards would have done. They'd have killed you. Do you know that, Kapo? He was not happy with that. Okay. I'm sorry, Kapo. Um, I... Me and my team want to help you get free. Do you understand that, Kapo? Rap. Rap. To do that, we're going to need you to cooperate with us, Kubo. I don't know how yet, but when we put our mind to something, we can do almost anything. 
but we need you to just behave, Kubel. Do you understand? Rap. Rap. Good. I've been called a fool many times, and I'll you can I'll be called it again. But I'll take your word for it, Kubel. We will find a way to free you. I don't know how yet. But... For now, I need to get back to my room, Kubel. That'll startle me a bit and I'll look at the cage. What, Kubel? I'm not... I, I, I want to, Kubel. I want to release the silent spell. But... If I do that, would you attack, Kubel? No answer. I don't know how to interpret your silence, Kapo. If you want out of here alive to see your home, you need to cooperate, and you said you would, Kupo. Rap. Rap. Okay. Oh, I'm so glad Xylus isn't here. He'd rub my face. He would rub stupidity in my face. I need you to promise, Kabel, that you will not attack. I will slowly inch forward with one paw extended. Okay. Can you reach your arm out, Kapo? Is it extended, Kapow? Bam! (laughs) (laughs) 
I think he might start to be starting to lose his patience. I will slowly inch forward, reaching out with my paw. Do I touch anything at all? I mean, you'll, I guess, touch the cage. At the touch of the cage, I will quickly retreat back to the uh, crate. Bam! <sighs> Look, I can't see you, and right now I am terrified because I am taking it your word for it. That you won't attack, but right now I need you to reach your arm through the cage and just hold it, Kabel. Bam! Is hey, on? Make a perception check. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, good. So, hardly even noticeable, but just as just so you're aware, that last one made the door give a little bit. Oh, are the guards looking in this direction? Huh? Are the guards looking in this direction? Uh. Their vision does not seem... I mean, assuming that they're like all humes, their vision would not extend this far out, even with their flashlights. Okay. But they are looking in this general direction, yes. Okay, well... I guess I'm gonna... I'm gonna head over there and... Yeah, I'm gonna head over there. Over where? To the cage. When I approach the same side, Jamal is on. I guess I should probably roll a stealth because I'm trying to move quietly. <laughs> over someone the cage is about to open you need to get away in a, in a minute Kapow. Wargrim I need your cooperation if we're gonna get you out Kapo. does it look like Wargrim's getting ready to charge the door again um yeah yeah okay I'm grabbing Jamal and heading towards the cart. J Jamal, do you want to resist? Cause I'll roll a grapple check if need be. I'll just <laughs> cling to the um, to the cloak you gave me, all bundled up. Not that it works anymore. Bam! Door gives a little bit again. Yep. I'm gonna head over to the cart. And I'm going to put my uh, my cloak and Jamog into the back of the cart and throw the tarp over it. Soma, what are you and doing? I'm, I'm going to stand next to the cart. And he's going to start fucking smashing against that thing. A bunch. I'm too far away to talk with him, aren't I? 
unless you want to shout. No. Alright. Are the guards doing anything? Uh, after a while, they'll start come, they'll come over to the guy. Fucking Christ, what the hell is wrong with you? You'd think this thing would wear himself out after a while. Good God. And after a little bit of harassing the thing, eventually the uh, slams start slowing down. As they do, I will... Well, are the guards still there? Yeah, they'll, they'll leave. They'll right. go back to their spots. All right, I'll head back over to the cage. Someone's gonna follow. <laughs> Mog, this is not a good idea. I know, Capel. If you know, then why are you doing it? I have to try to help him, Capel. And sometimes that involves being a. being stupid, Capel. As we get close enough to the cage. Wargram, Capel. Can I see him at all, or...? Not really. Again, too dark. Uh, I can see him. What is he doing, David? Uh, he is he is at the corner of the cage that she is on, and he is staring at her. He is looking at you. I guess you could roll a sense motive. I could roll a sense motive. I am excellent at sense motives. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you're a master. Yeah, I got a minus four to my sense motive. You, you have no clue. Yeah, so I'm just going to convey he is at this corner of the cage looking at you. He, he is very something. Okay. Wargram, this is Soman. He's a companion and a friend, Kabel. Do you understand? You see him kind of flail backwards a little bit. Throw his arms down. Walk, a, walk over. Stick his hand in, in one of those holes again. Rap, rap. He does not look very happy. Uh, he's in a cage. Why would he be happy, Cabal? But... That means he understands. That's a yes, Cabal. Okay. So, Mom, what is he doing right now? I'm assuming he's still in the corner just staring at Jamog. Yeah. He is still up in the corner staring at you. Okay. This might make it easier, Wargrim Capel. He can see you in there. Meaning we'll have a slightly easier time communicating, Capel.
Now I know you want out of this cage. But that's just gonna have to wait a minute, Capel. If you get out now, with those guards here, it'll cause a lot of trouble, Capel. BAM! What did he do? He basically... Basically just grabbed both of his arms together and using the, like, arm guards on his, uh... Arm guards on his, uh... Forearms just slammed into the wall. Like right there where Jamon's at? Yeah. He does not like that answer. I'd imagine not. I want to take off the silent spell and talk to you, Cabell. But you've been very violent, Cabell. Or will you attack me? What's he doing, David? He will reach his hand through the, uh, through the grate again. Rap, rap, rap. I'm gonna I'm send smoke to that. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> you have to what does three taps mean? It means yes, Kabel. He. Wait, that means no. So he will not attack you. I will look at Wargram. Do you... I guess that's a good problem. This should probably be the music going on right now, but. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've, I have, I've had that open and it's been playing for a while. Okay. So. My end so, okay. say again. Wargram, do you promise that, Capel? Rap, rap. Xylus is gonna call me all sorts of stupid, Capel. Just so you know, Wargram, Capel. Where I come from, I am important, Kabel. There will be no mercy if you're lying to me, Kabel. Not from my friends, not from the guards. BAM! Well, Door gives a little bit again. He is not happy about waiting this long, I'm guessing. I need to make sure that he won't attack Kabel. Promise twice. That he did. Let's see, where's that? It's dispelled to get rid of um, silence, right? Yep. I will look at Wargrim. You gave your word twice, Cabell. Silence. Is it gone? Um... Yes. Wargrim? Miserable little morsel, you dare threaten me, you toy with me, I will make this entire place sink! I am trying to help you, Kabo. I'm things. trying to help you, Kabo. He will mutter a couple of things, motion inward, and then slam down on the ground. Kabo, no! And what was. Of course, I X out of it, goddammit. As he's doing that, I promised I would help you, Kapo. Where the hell is that? Is 
Is it not that? Where the hell is it? Shit, that's what my problem is. I am not even in the right place. Silas is gonna rub this in my face, isn't he? Because the universe wants him to be be my friend. Now, please. Oh, damn there it. There it no. is. No. Um, you need to make both of you need to make a reflex save. Someone, I'm sorry. And where the hell is reflex? Is that in defenses? Yes, it yeah. is. Your reflex save is really fucking high. Mhm. Mm How is your reflex save that high? Uh, my armor gives me plus four. I have a level. The, the second level of the safe material working. And also, it's the high safe for the engineer. It's one of the high safes. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense then. Never mind. Yeah, engineers get fort and reflex as high saves. Okay, so. Um, let's see here. That would be that plus that. So both of you made it. Um, both of you will take 10 points of earth damage. Alright, do we get a move to the combat screen? Um, I mean, he's still in the cage. That being said, the cage, um, breaks. Basically, he slammed down the, uh, he slammed down his foot and created a localized earthquake. Wargram, I promise, I told you I would help you and I will, Kapo. Stop. Uh, now there's a quick question for you, David. Yeah? Uh, when he spoke, what language was he speaking? Uh, that is a good point. Someone, you yeah. now know Varg. Ooh. And basically, as that happens, in off in the background, what in the hell was that? <laughs> oh shit! We need to hide, Kubo. And he and he will look down at you. You said you would free me. I, need... I will escape this place, or I will tear you apart with my fangs. Please calm down. We cannot get caught if we need to free you, Kubo. And I. Mog, go and hide. When you say the cage broke, how is it broken? Um, well, the hinges on the door fell off, and so the door, uh, it's still standing there, but, like, a decent enough push would knock it over. Uh, oh. other than, other than that, the bar, the, the, like, walls are started, have, like, bent and distorted. I will shift behind, um, behind someone. And I will, Kupo, please, just patience. We will free you. Here in a few hours, the boat will be passing closer to land. We can abandon ship then. What the hell are you doing? There's the guards coming around the corner. I will hide behind a crate. You! Robot! Get the yes. fuck away from it! What did you do to the crate? I was repairing it. Uh, I, I wish to put my hand on and use my, my repairability on it. Can, can I do that, David? Um, you can. 
My hands are literally shaking, you guys. They are literally shaking. So the crate heals for that. Okay. It, the, it starts to contort back into place. The door starts to move back onto the spot that it was supposed to be. You miserable traitor. I will eat. And he will go silent. Huh. And then I'm going to head back towards the cart. Yeah, okay. Whatever. <laughs> and they'll go back to their spot. I will come back over visibly, shaking. Bargrim, please, Capo. We need to just oh. bide our time. We didn't betray you. I'm gonna go over. Are the hinges still broken on the door? Uh, no. Okay. That that fixed that. Okay. I'll go to the cage to the war grim. We'll be back in a couple of hours when we pass by land. We'll open the cage. We will abandon ship, swim to land, and then we will see what we do, see what we can do from there. Please, Wargrim, we only want to help, but violence won't solve this, Cabell. Mark, we have a different uh, issue right now. Door opens, you hear footsteps. What the hell was that? Uh, I'm really not sure, but there's a robot Excellent. down here, and he Excellent. kind of fixed it. So... As I just ignore it. As they're talking, what the hell are you talking about? Just ignore it. I will hide back behind the crate. Or is that cloak no. working yet? So I'm on. Is the cloak oh. working yet? Oh, um, the the cloak will not work until I recharge it. Crap. Anyway. And a couple of uh, a couple of other. Guards will come around the corner. Just want to go, go back to the cart and st stick the mug back in the cart with the tarp thrown over it. See, told you, no worse for wear. You can go ask him if you want. But you, uh, the, the, the robot thing. Yes. What happened? The beast was pounding on the cage, and it dented it. I fixed it. Fuck, dude. Are you programmed to be underwhelming? He did a lot more than dent it, but <laughs> he's not wrong. He, he did fix it. All right, well, thanks for your help. Keep an eye on him, will you? He does it again. Do whatever he did. Will do. As he's walking away, he will mutter under his breath, Fuck this day! <laughs> oh, God. Alright. Day five something. Are, are, are we still in the cargo hold? Uh, presumably. Unless okay. you could, unless you could recharge the cape and get her to use it, so you guys could get out. No. By the way, what about the? Do we have an issue, Jamog? What issue? In order to recharge the cape, it needs eight hours of sunlight. Oh. <laughs> and don't you need? To, don't you need to be powered down for eight hours a day? Hmm. Uh, that was way too loud. I'm, I'm, I'm probably waking people up. That was <laughs> Not really. amazing, though. Don't you need to recharge as, as well? I could use it, yes. Okay. For the rest of the night, just recharge. I just realized something. Hmm? 
Unless I'm mistaken, I haven't eaten today. David! <laughs> yeah, no, I haven't eaten today. No, wait, hamburger. Did I have a hamburger? I might have had a hamburger today. Or that might have been yesterday. So how long till we pass by here, David? Um... That is a good question. Kind of hard to know while you're down here. Okay. Um, then after Jamal gets to sleep, I'm gonna head up above deck. Well, real quick before sleep, I'm gonna head back to Wargrim just one last time. We need to sleep, Kupo. We'll figure this out in the morning, but I promise we're not traitors, Kupo. And then I will head back to the cart for some sleep. Okay. okay. Uh, of all the stupid things I've done, this has been far the stupidest thing by far. So, uh, I'm gonna pass by the guards and let them know I need to go check up on my owner. I will be back. Yeah, alright. Whatever. Clever robot. Okay, so you go upstairs. Yep. Alright, I'm gonna go above <laughs> deck firstly. Is it nighttime, I'm assuming? Uh, yes. Alright, well, then I'm gonna go gather up par uh, party members. Okay. And let them know that here in a couple hours we're gonna be abandoning ship. Who can swim? <laughs> or who wants to just stay on the boat until it gets to its destination? Because at the very least, a couple of us are going to abandon ship. Uh, Mag is like, nope. <laughs> uh, Moglio is like, I have no reason to abandon this ship. I will stay here. Okay. Um, let's see here. I love how no one's questioning it. Kiranok, <laughs> uh, uh, my kind does not do well in water. I will wait. Okay. Uh, anyone who, who doesn't want to abandon ship, uh, just let them know we'll meet up in Triard. All right. So those abandoning ship with you are... Malon and Joe and Bernadette. Why is right. no one questioning any of this? <laughs> so, when, when we get to the point where we are the closest <laughs> to land, that's when we're going to make them leave. Okay. Can Vorgrim swim? We'll find out. That is a good question. Well, it's a good time to find out. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> so by the looks of the map, it's going to be like, what, an hour or two? Yeah, right about. All right. Well, less than that. So we'll say you wait just a little bit, and probably now's your best chance. Yep. There we go. All right, back. Um, gonna tell everyone to just basically hang here where the car, where the path from the cargo hold reaches to the deck of the ship. We'll be back in a bit. Well, I'll be back in a bit. All right. So, Mon, you do realize all of this was because of one of your plans actually worked. Yeah, and you doubt Soman's plans. I do. I do doubt them. <laughs> But this one's working. Good job. 
all of my plans could work if things went according to plan. <laughs> so I'm going to head back down. Okay, I'm going to head over to the cart. I'm assuming the guards don't even bother stopping me. No. Okay. I'm going to wake up Jamal. Hmm? I'm going to wake up Jamog. Okay. It's time we make our move. We're, we're going to free Wargrim, we're going to make it out to the top of the ship, and then we're going to jump off and swim to land. Good, uh, s- s- swim, though? In the water? Yes. You, you, you can swim? Though? Unknown. <laughs> uh, uh, when... Uh, when when we d- do this, it's best you fly, Kabo. Okay. Uh, I will head back over to the cage. We're oh, gonna head over to the cage. I'm gonna speak in Var. Is he awake? Yes. Okay. okay. I'm gonna speak in Var. It's time to make the move. We're setting you free. Common Jamal, please dispel the cage. Well, Wargram, can can you swim, Cabell? We'll find out. Or it comes to our side. If I'm flying, I can just carry him. Please dispel the cage. I'm going to hold an action. The moment she casts a spell, I'm going to attack the cage. You're going to attack the cage? To help break it open. There's a thi- there's a thing you can pull. Oh, really? It's that simple? Well, there's a couple of them. Oh. And there's no way you could reach them from the inside, but... Oh, okay, that's how... Yeah, okay, then yeah, I'm going to open the cage. Okay. Oh, God, she doesn't even have to cast a spell. Okay, so you're just going to open the cage then? Yep. He will... He will walk out. Please refrain from killing the guard, but we will knock him unconscious and move. We can move quickly. We do not have time to kill them. Alright, let's g- g- get this, um, yeah, okay. Well, Graham, you get the one on the left, I'll get the one on the right. Did we get a combat grid, David, or are we just gonna go? <laughs> um, probably he doesn't really need a combat grid. Shitty guards. I mean, they're not that special. They might, they might be able to do a couple of things. Just there are guards. So no, I no, and I get, and it's just so I can stay. I, I get my cloak and I put my cloak on. Okay. I am. L- this I'm entire look thing has me literally things. shaking. Every single time, immediately out of spawn. Dead. What? Oh, my, my roommates complain about the game he's playing. Oh. Okay, so, uh, I guess, uh, go ahead and roll initiatives for the sake of what happens. (sighs) 
Uh, we'll just go ahead and say that your guard A and your guard B. <laughs> 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 And we'll go ahead and say that that's Wargrim. <laughs> Wargrim, what a beautiful lady you are. There we go, and... You know, it's too bad Colin had to go to bed. He'd be all over this. Mm-hmm. All right. So, guard on the right, you want to just make my attack? Uh, yeah. All right. Okay. That damage should technically be one more. I don't get that one. I don't go. Okay. So you hit him. That sucked a bunch. And then the they are like, holy shit! And his turn. And the one you didn't hit needs to roll. That is not high enough. So. Mutters a, uh, mutters a couple words to himself, and you see his eyes go. Uh, you see his eyes go black for a second, and then the dude like pulls out his sword and turns to stone. Okay. Wow. And now it's that guy's turn. He is surprised, so he doesn't get an action. He is petrified. And Jemog, your turn. Okay, um. Just for the sake of being uh, useful on, um, on the guard not yet knocked out I'm gonna use my um, ability double cast okay I'm gonna mobilize him twice well I'm gonna if he feels the first one I have a second chance I oh, know he bailed that a bunch Is that with or without the negative four penalty on the save? That, that's, yes, he fails. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so other dude can't move. So on, okay. your turn. Um, heading up the stairs. Okay. Um, dude will walk up to the uh, petrified guy and bite his face off. <clears throat> Wargram Cabell? We gotta go. I am hungry. Right. Why would he bite the petrified person? That guy's made of stone. I would also like to point out he did not bite through that guy like he was made of stone. <laughs> but if he's hungry, why not eat the one that's alive? I'm just saying. 
But that being said, as that dude's turn and he can't move and he's just out of reach of other dudes, so he's gonna be like. Fuck! <laughs> Uh, crow. Or other dude, dead. So, gem hog. I will head up with, uh, Soman. On the bright way. Well, um... We can... We have, uh... Oh, Kupau. I just kind of mumble incoherently. Trying to form words, but I can't. As I follow Soman. You said there's two more guards, David? Yep. On the other side of this door. Okay. I'm going to wait for Wargrim to catch up. Uh, out in the broad daylight. Once we attack these guards, every single person on deck is going to be like, what the fuck? No, it's, it's still nighttime. nighttime. Is it? Oh, good. It's still nighttime. Most of them are sleeping. Now is the best time to move. Okay. Does Wargrim catch up? Uh, yeah. What if we lowered them in here, Cabell? No time. Move fast. So, here's all I want to do, David. Yep. Do I, do I get a surprise round or a full round? Um, surprise round. Okay, well, surprise round, then I guess I'm just opening the door. Alright, pause for a minute. 